Hello. So I get a lot of questions about this guitar um, from all over the place and people see it and I take it in for repairs and people ask questions. Um, it is a Takaharu, a Haru, Horu guitar manufactured sometime in, I want to say the 1970s from what I can see. It goes by the, the Gibson Dove specs. Looks like a Gibson, sounds like a Gibson, plays like a Gibson. In fact, some of the people who've tried it have said that it sounds on par, if not better, than the Gibson guitars. So what I want to do is, because I don't really, there's no videos of these things on the internet, really. Or I have a home studio, so what I'm going to do is I have this Shure uh, SM58, which I am going to use and play this guitar Um it will get a better idea of the sound. It really doesn't give you, like, really revert. It has a lot of reverberation in this guitar. You can feel it in your body. You can feel it, like, in the room. It fills the room. I, this thing sounds brilliant. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. This, this is a serial number 20109, uh, model number. I don't know. It looks like an ink blob. Oh, no. It's like WTK65DA, um, made by the Suzuki Violin Corporation. There is no year on it. There's not any really any information. I had some work done on this. I'm sorry I'm blabbing here. You're probably already bored and want to shoot yourselves. But I had some work done on this guitar. Um, I had it rebuilt. Uh, the story is I got it at a garage sale for $100. And I knew that uh, by looking at it that it was probably worth a little more than that. So I put about $300 into fixing it. The bridge was redone. Um, there was some bowing in the wood, or some stress uh, in the wood. Had the, I, I can't really see inside of it on this camera, so I'm not going to bother. But there's a uh, there's a block of wood that was put in there to to prevent uh, the guitar from warping anymore. The neck was reset. Everything was redone on this, so it's it's brand new. It was it was in rough shape when I got well, kind of rough shape when I got it. So anyway, I'm just going to play it and stuff. All I have here is I just have a, the SM58 going through Cubase, and that's it. So bear with me. I got a, I only got the one mic going right now. So. Ugh.
So there you go. Um, yeah, that's it. If anyone in internet land has any information about the guitar, um, let me know because I don't know. I bought it off some, he was Dutch or something from Europe somewhere, and he bought it and said he didn't know how to play it. So I bought it. True story. So if you have information, yeah, let me know. If not, uh, if you could send me like a, a picture of yours or uh, I don't know. So hopefully this sheds some, some uh, light on these guitars. Probably not. Definitely not. It's nice. It sounds good. So yeah, if anyone has any information, let me know because I see a lot of searches on the internet for these things. People are, are wondering the same thing. I think in the end, it doesn't really matter because it's such a good quality, good sounding guitar that, you know, why are you going to sell it anyway? But if you do sell it and, and you're selling it cheap, just let me know because I'm going to buy it. Yep. Okay, thanks. Sorry, I'm not used to having things in my face. Oh, no.